to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an updated what's on my iPhone. So let's just get right into this video. So firstly, I have the gold iPhone XS and I really, really love the color. So that's why I put a clear case on my phone. It is Tech 21 clear case and it's like drop proof and it has all these shock absorbent line things around the case so it is protected and everything i do also have a glass screen protector on here and the screen protector i have goes all the way around so you don't actually see that little ridge so it has like a black border and it goes all the way around and it looks like exactly like your normal phone or whatever so it doesn't look like you have a screen protector on it and you don't even notice it Okay, so I'm gonna just insert the screen recording over here and yeah, let's just get into my phone. So this is my lock screen. It is just an illustration that I did on Adobe Illustrator. It was my first vector outline drawing and it's of myself and Ali at our upper six levers dance and I really liked this photo and I thought it was really cute and I just applied like a nude background onto it so it kind of like matches my phone. So when you unlock my iPhone, first thing you see is that I have all my apps organized into folders and this is because I think it's easier to access them and they're all in a certain category and if I'm doing something in that category, I could just easily switch apps. So yeah, and then I'm just going to do my widgets first. So I first have um, my Vodacom app. And this is how I view like my airtime, how much I owe Vodacom so far, I'm on a subscription thing, and my data. So yeah, I just think it's an easier way than going into the app and trying to check my data and everything. It just automatically updates here and I just have it there constantly and I can always just check my data on there. I then have this Moon Phases app. So it just tells you like the phase of the moon currently, how many days until the new moon, how many days until a full moon. Then moving on to like the main page again, on the bottom like main dock is WhatsApp, Spotify, um, this is my Spotify. I have organized all my songs into playlists and they just they're more like genres of what I categorize them into. So it's not the actual genre, it's just what I think that they like. I find songs that all like have a similar vibe will just go into like this category and then. So that's how I organize my playlists. So if you want to follow me, my username is Tambler and I'll link it down below as well. So yeah. Then I have my email app, which is Spark, and I have both my personal email and my university email on here. And I love Spark because it literally filters out your junk mail from your actual personal emails that you actually need to read. So when I say junk mail, I mean like newsletters you've subscribed to. So you can easily just click one button, read all of them, and then like, you don't have that number sitting at the top there. The first folder I'm going to go through is my planning folder. So this is where I like plan my day or just things to plan, okay? So I have my calendar, pretty basic reminders, notes, the weather app, the moon phase app, which the widget is there, the clock, which I use for like my alarms, um, and then I have ESCOM which is to figure out when load shedding is so that I can plan for load shedding. Then in my money folder, I have my FNB app, Snapscan, Varsity Vibe app, which is basically, um, if you're a student in South Africa, just get this app. Um, you pay 200 rand fee and you have to obviously be a student in university. You put all your um, your student ID, take a photo of your student card, send it through with, and pay 200 rand to them and then they give you like discounts on like a lot of things. So like 20% off 
on cotton on or there's a lot of deals like food clothes everything so it's a really good app next I have this app called expense this is my budgeting app so I have all my different wallets so I have like what my dad has put in my account like he wants me to have a set float that I don't use I never use it so it's just there just so that my account doesn't ever reach zero so that it just um, improves my credibility score so yeah then I have like electricity entertainment groceries internet laundry my savings account which is a completely separate account but I just have the wallet in there and then transport and then what you can do is like for example you go into here into internet and you can add type in whatever okay and then you click the tick mark and then you sort it it like deducts it automatically for you and I think this is the best way to stick within your budgets um, especially if you get like a full amount and you you want to just divide that full amount and know that okay I have definitely spent my full lot of internet like I can't go and keep paying for more or it's just a way to like keep track of your money and I think it's a really good app so yeah you don't need to pay it's completely free you can have unlimited wallets then I have calculator uber eats the Vodacom app and PayPal my next folder is travel and I use the Waze app and Waze I find is the best app for traffic because it gives you real-time data it'll take you a di completely different route um, if there's traffic it'll make sure that you avoid the traffic etc etc so that's what I have however I also do still have Google Maps because sometimes you know certain things just Certain stores aren't registered on Waze, but they're registered on Google Maps, so then it's just good to have Google Maps as well. I also have the Uber app, then I have the Wallet app. I put my tickets for like, okay, so I have my Rocking the Daisies ticket for 2020, and I also put my um, flight tickets in here etc etc so I can literally put anything in here and I'll tell you how I do that I use this app called pass to you and this is an app that you can literally make like your boarding pass an electronic ticket into into your wallet I also have integrate me I'm not gonna go into it because it holds all your personal information so you can take a photo of your ID and it authenticates it your passport marriage certificates driver's license everything and it stays in the integrate me app and it's a verified thing for some places so you don't need to carry your ID around and stuff like that I know that in Stellenbosch the clubs accept this so you don't need to carry your ID you can just show them on your phone because it is a verified thing I also have Life360 which I use with my family and my friends then I have find my iPhone Pretty simple. I then have my health folder which has flow which is a period tracking app, streaks which I use to break habits and make new habits. I then have the health app, co-stars and astrology app that everyone. I have daily horoscope as well. Eternal sunshine is really nice. I don't actually go into the app that often. I have notifications turned on for this app. Um, because how can I say it gives you very inspirational positive motivating things and like affirmations so it's always nice to like open your phone and read something positive and it'll like pop up with a notification like even when you're on your phone and like it's very positive and I think it's just good to keep yourself in a good mindset constantly so it's just nice to have like a positive thing coming from your phone I then have my Apple watch app the activity app and the Nike training app, which is where I'm currently training on for yoga. So this is the app that I use. There's free yoga classes on here. There's a whole bunch of other free classes, but I'm not going to get into it. But yeah, that's what I use. Then in my social folder, I have phone, messages, FaceTime, Snapchat, Twitter, Safari, Facebook, Messenger, 
and between between is an app for couples so um i have this app with ali and it's just like us two on here you link your accounts together and then what you can do is like you can insert important dates on here you can put all your photos on here so all the photos you have together all those kind of nice things it's just nice to have one space just for that you can also message each other on here and stuff so i find it's a really cute app so if you're in a relationship and you want to have something just for you like you two i think this is a great app like i put um the days until we see each other etc etc so i think it's a really cute app then in my entertainment folder i have pinterest Tumblr, WeHearted, YouTube, YouTube Studio, which is for YouTube. Um, so if you're a creator and you make YouTube videos, this is how you track your insights. Um, sub count is my subscriber count. Episode, yes, I'm an episode fan. I do like episode. Um, Mario Kart and TikTok. I don't use TikTok. Then I have my Insta folder, which is basically my Instagram folder. So I have Instagram which you can follow me on, at Tam Surti. If you want to find me anywhere, actually, you just search at Tam Surti and I'll probably be there. So, yeah. Um, I also have Lightroom. I use Lightroom to edit my photos. I came up with my own preset last year. It took a very, very long time, by the way. I'm just letting you know. So, I came up with my own preset last year. Um, so, this is it applied to my most recent photo. I have it like Tam IG and Tam IG lighter. So yeah, for the more darker photos I put the lighter filter on. So yeah, that's that's Lightroom. <laughs> then I have Facetune, just like whitening backgrounds, etc. Adding some more details to like photos and everything. I have Unum. Um, this is where I basically plan my feed. So it's a really nice app. I've been using Onum since 2016. Um, best app literally ever to plan your feed. It's really nice, simple, easy to use. Um, it's free. You can get upgraded plans but I personally don't see the need to. But if you want it, you can get it. I have Canva Stories which is where I have those it's basically the Instagram story templates and I think Canva stories is like the best because it keeps updating and it's really nice. It's not going to load. <laughs> oh, it is going to load. Okay, so you get all of these different kinds of story templates and it's really cute and they do update it and give you more. I used to use Unfold but I think it just got very generic so then I deleted it. I also have InShot, which is where I like crop my videos for my um, my design account, which is Tamara Designs. If you want to go follow me, that's there too. Um, Fronto is just like a little app that you can just put a background on or put a photo on and put your put text, shapes, etc. I create my thumbnails on there, it is easier, I mean I could use my laptop if I really wanted to, but I just use that, it's easy. Then I have um, this app called Unfollow, so Unfollow is like an unfollowing app for Instagram, literally in the name kind of thing. Um, I'm not going to go into it because you'll just see users profiles etc and I want to just respect people's privacy. Um, then you can just go in there, mass unfollow people and everything. However, there is a small fee, it's $1.99 and I would just pay it, it's like unlimited and then you get unlimited unfollows. It's a really small fee and it does the job really well, so I'd suggest this app. The next folder I have is called Photo and I just have my camera, photos, Google Photos, which is just all my backups of all my photos, Visco, Cura Cura, that's just the app that you use so, um, to make things sparkle hi okay but sure um i have instax share this is for my little polaroid printer 
camera connect which is for my vlog camera to connect to my phone I can control it from my phone and share photos over the Wi-Fi to my phone then I have my last folder which is the miscellaneous folder and I have settings the app store Shazam Adobe scan which is just a scanner app so you just can scan any document and have them there digitally um, I have Google Drive and the Apple files okay then I have study bunny and I recently downloaded this it's just because we're going into online learning next week Tuesday so I just want to make sure that I don't reach for my phone as often and I have like this set time that okay for an hour I'm not touching my phone I'm going to watch the lecture right through no notifications are going to be coming through etc and the more you complete you earn coins and then with these coins you can go and buy outfits new background new colors for your bunny food etc so it's just a cute app if you want to try it out I haven't tried it out yet don't know if it's gonna really work but I'll let you know and yeah so that's my phone everybody um, yeah please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and if you like to see these kind of videos if you have any questions please leave them in the comments down below and yeah I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video